today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Sentinel boss in Blade Ball. So guys, here we are on Blade Ball. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Sentinel boss in this game. But watching the video all the way up until the end, guys, you're going to be able to find out how to beat this boss in Blade Ball over here. So make sure you guys don't go anywhere. If you guys do, you're going to miss out all of this crucial information. So far, for everybody, let's go comment. So guys, this is another boss in Blade Ball right now, kind of similar to the Serpent boss that was recently added. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can go and beat this boss in the game. So pretty much, guys, first of all, what is this boss all about? Well, first of all, guys, this boss is going to be here for the next two days. It's going to be here up until the 15th of January. And essentially, you guys are going to have to come over here to the portal in order to actually fight the boss. Now, every 30 minutes, guys, you can go and fight this boss. Um, currently, we are just waiting one and a half minutes until we can fight it. So, of course, guys, I'm going to be showing you me fighting this boss in a second later on into the video over here. But um, pretty much, guys, all you need to do is just come into the game and look at this portal. And it's going to tell you guys when the next event is. And what you guys need to do, you need to jump on into this portal when, of course, you are um, able to. Now, um... What this is going to do, guys, it's going to teleport you to a whole different, like, place. Um, you're not going to do it in, like, the actual game over here, guys, how we did with, like, this, um, with the serpent boss. It's going to be a little bit different. We're going to get teleported off to somewhere else. So, it's pretty much 50 seconds, guys, before we can go ahead and do this right now. So, what exactly do we get for defeating this boss, guys? Well, we get ourselves a bunch of new limited swords and emotes, which is quite nice. So, of course, guys, if you do want some of those, then make sure you do watch all the way up to the end. Um, and you guys will be able to go and get these. I'm not going to lie. I did not mean... I thought I had AFK mode on. Apparently not. Right. Luckily enough, I have um, been killed over here. So, yeah, that's good. But, yeah, guys, I recommend turning on AFK mode as well if you are waiting for the portal. Because if not, guys, then you're going to be teleported into the game and you might miss it. But pretty much, guys, um, yeah. So, essentially, you get a bunch of different limited rewards. Um, these will only be here for the next few days, guys. So, these are going to be quite rare as well. Meaning that you guys are going to want to kind of grind this as much as possible. Um, but, yeah, we do get us a bunch of uh, new swords and emotes i'm going to be making a specific video showing us how to get those swords and emotes but pretty much guys as you can see the event is now ready so what we can do we can go ahead and join on into the queue and this queue will be here for 30 seconds guys so essentially you need to be here um in this zone for, for 30 seconds it also tells you guys here how many players we have so the 16 players um that are here right now guys queued up i'm pretty sure um if that's what it says Yes, so there's 11 players right now in this thing. Um, so just jump on into here. 11 out of 16 players, guys. Um, so pretty much when the queue ends, you will now be teleported into the game. So once we're here, it's loading. Um, we're just going to have to wait for this to load, guys. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. But once you're in, here we go. I think we're in right now. Um, yep, here we are. So now that we're in here, what we need to do is go ahead and beat this boss so how do we go ahead and do this guys well i'm going to be showing you that right now so pretty much here we go um we're we're in here right now i'm going to quickly equip my telekinesis ability over here guys um and now you guys can see here that a cutscene will happen so here is the boss that we're going to be fighting today guys which is kind of cool so yep we need to fight this boss and hopefully go ahead and defeat it guys so here we go and um, we're fighting it right now and um essentially we're going to defeat this thing. Um, I'm going to tell you guys how to do that today. So once this um, once this like cutscene has ended, you'll then be able to go ahead and fight the boss. So pretty much, let's just wait for this to go. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Right, okay, guys. Right, here we go. Finally. It's taking a little while, to be fair. It's one long cutscene, to say the least. Um, right, okay. We should be here right now, potentially, guys. Right, here we go. So as you can see, you have three different bits of health. And pretty much, guys, what you need to do, you need to be the person who is, I guess, if you last um, all the way up until the end of here, guys. So I think we all just have the dash ability. I don't think we have different abilities in this, guys. Um, I think we all just have the same dash one. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to use any other abilities. But essentially, guys, the ball should be coming in here soon. Um, potentially, guys, I don't know where the ball is. Um, is this glitched? It might be glitched, guys. But essentially, what happens is you pretty much need to be one of the last people remaining. Um, you have three lives, so that means the ball can hit you three times. So, yeah, pretty much be here, be one of the last three. And you guys will then be able to go ahead and, I guess, get all the limited tools and stuff for defeating this boss. Pretty much going to be it for them. Right, never mind, guys. Here we go. So, yeah, complete XP done by defeating bosses and claiming rewards. So, yeah, guys, essentially, what you need to do, you need to watch out for the ball um, to 
target you so there's going to be a bunch of these balls flying around everywhere and surprisingly guys none of these have actually targeted me at the moment but as you can see in the middle over here there are some bosses i don't know what's going on literally no um no balls are targeting us at the moment guys um right here we go F finally took its time but um yeah essentially guys you need to kind of catch the ai off guard now let's go ahead and do this now of course guys as you just saw there, two balls can kind of come off you at once. So, yeah, you're going to have to be kind of, like, I guess, um, kind of wary at this. And also, guys, these over here, they do deal damage to you. So, you need to jump over them. Because if not, you will lose health. As you can see, I'm only on one health right now. It's because I didn't jump over them other ones right now, guys. So, yeah, you must be jumping over those. If not, you guys will lose health. So, just keep that in mind. I'm only on one right now. So, I'm honestly going to have to um, kind of watch out because if not i will die um but pretty much you guys are gonna have to defeat all of these bosses right now um well they're not really like bosses they're kind of like mini bosses but um still no balls have targeted us recently right here's one right okay here we go guys we've managed to do that come on hopefully yeah unfortunately guys we died but yeah you'll also respawn as well so as you can see kill royal gods damage them to you so you guys need to damage this and if you guys do so well, um, as you can see, we've just done this. So we just got a reward over there, guys. You can click on that reward thing, and that'll give you guys a chest. Um, and in that chest, there will be a bunch of different limited swords and stuff like that. So we got past the first wave. So essentially, you guys can respawn in, but you just need to make sure that not everyone in your team dies. Because if so, then I think it'll end. So pretty much, guys, we need to go ahead and do the next wave right now. And as we um, do this right as you can see here he is so he must have free health so what we need to do um hit until sentinel is vulnerable right okay so we just need to keep on hitting him until he is vulnerable to attacks as you can see we've hit him once we've hit him twice um three times over here guys so yeah you just need to watch out because of course if the ball targets you then you will lose a life so just keep that in mind guys also watch his attacks like these laser ones over here guys because they will go ahead and hurt you uh, if you run into them but pretty much, um, we need to just keep on hitting them until, of course, we um, manage to get his health all the way down. We have four hits left, guys. It just tells you over there. Um, and as you can see, so when you get to the amount of XP, you just click on the chest. And it will um, allow you guys to claim it, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, let's just watch out for these um, laser things. Just keep your eyes peeled, guys, because if not then you might potentially um, lose. But as you can see here, guys, so essentially it takes like 30 hits in total in order to kill this thing because as you can see, we just hit um, 10 times there and you lost one health. Then we need to hit another 10 times. So click on this chest, guys, once you get all your XP and that's going to allow you guys to claim it up and get like the swords and stuff inside of that chest. So pretty much, guys, we need to watch out over here because we've got some pretty nasty things coming in over here, guys. Right, let's jump over those. We're still surprisingly full health, but I'll tell you what, guys, it's kind of getting a bit difficult right now um let's keep on going though um the ball's not targeted us for a little while guys but anyway let's keep on going um and keep on damaging the boss guys so he's got three hits left in total i think we got like 13 hits well 12 now until he will go down um but here we go guys let's keep on going um and pretty much the more times you go ahead and hit it this is your individual xp the more rewards you guys get so it's best to try and get the most or to try and like attract the ball to you i don't know how you'd do that guys but um for some reason the ball's just not going after us very often over here but pretty much guys yeah this is where the the real challenge starts um feel the wrath of a thousand lesions right okay guys let's go ahead and see here if we can win um against this right now guys so yeah our xp is at the top over here and yeah things are kind of getting a bit crazy right now so let's just watch out um there's so many balls and stuff flying around over here guys so we need to kill 13 royal gods too um let's just wait for the ball to come after us guys so we're coming right now on 700 out of 800 xp every single hit guys accounts for one xp so just keep well, sorry, not one xp 100 xp so just keep that in mind um and of course guys we have a lot of balls flying after us at once so yeah this is getting kind of challenging right now um yep honestly guys like four balls or something yeah honestly guys that is kind of impossible you can't hit two balls at once so yeah honestly it does get quite difficult we are going to respawn back in again but we hopefully just need to i guess keep everyone alive and um, never mind guys it looks like everyone's died but pretty much once everyone dies you will roll um the crate that you went ahead and claimed up and there you guys go that's essentially how you guys can be the boss and get the limited swords in blade ball gonna be it for the video here like and subscribe for more